All right, we're back with the 1977 Honda Z50. So, check this out. There's the VIN right there. So, as you guys know, a subscriber dropped this off probably a couple months ago now. And um, it wasn't running for a while. We got it running. We found out that the points need to be worked on, so we got that all figured out and rewired up and everything. And then we got Spark, then we actually got this thing to start up, but it was smoking really bad. So the subscriber who dropped it off decided he wanted to rebuild it. It's been in his family for, I think it was like 40 years or something like that. So he's got pictures of it with his, I think it's with his grandparents, which is pretty cool. And um, he, he decided to rebuild it all, and uh, he bought a bunch of new parts for it, gasket kit, um, new clutch, headlight bucket, um, tail light, new kick lever, new kick lever shaft, piston rings, bunch of new parts. So we're gonna rebuild this thing today and uh, see if she fires up without smoking. And then we'll take it for a little rip and see how she goes. But it's definitely worth rebuilding if it's been in your family that long. So I think he's doing the right thing. And these things hold a lot of value. Um, so. Let's get started on it and uh, see if we can get this into a working running bike today. Alright, so here's the timing chain. Let's see what that looks like. So this one was like really, really loose. And we tried the chain tensioner on it. And um, it didn't tension it at all, so. So we're hoping it was a really stretched timing chain, but it doesn't look that stretched, does it? But we'll install it and we'll see. Let's try to get this timing chain installed here. So we get this little piece, this little guide that goes on like that. And then we've got the chain that goes around here. This one goes like that. And then up through there. Like so. And that little guy gets held on when the stator plate is backing up against it so that won't fall off. All right, now we're gonna go over to the clutch side, get the clutch cover off. We've gotta replace the clutch and then the kick lever and the kick lever shaft that goes through. So let's start working on that next. All right, quick drain of the oil. Oil looks brand new in there, so that's good. No metal shavings at all. Well, that's a plus. <laughs> all right, hopefully these screws come out fairly easily. All right, that one came out. A lot of times you need to use a impact screwdriver. These haven't been taken off ever, probably. It's right on there. Come on, baby. Alright, I think we got them all. Don't have to drill any out. So that's good. So he thinks the clutch was slipping. So we'll see what the clutch looks like in here. If it's toast or, or not. Being held on by something. I think it's the, the foot peg right here. We'll get that off and then we'll 
inspect that clutch. All right, kickstand is off here. Let's see if the cover can come off now. Don't want to drop anything of importance. I heard something drop. This plate right here, with the spring. This guy. Must have been on the shaft right here. So this is the clutch. So we've got to get that off. And we've got a brand new one we can put on. So let's do that next. Otherwise everything else looks pretty good. It doesn't look like there's any damage in there. No pieces falling off, so everything's looking good so far. All right, to get the clutch off, there's these three screws in it right here, which are probably gonna be a pain to get out. Oh boy, we're going to have to put something to hold the rod from moving between there. And what that does is prevents it from moving here, at least too much. I was able to break these free, <laughs> thankfully. Get these out of here. Off like that. All right. On the inside, it's one of those special nuts. So you need a special tool to take that off. I think I've got it. All right. So this is what that tool looks like. And these grooves fit in these grooves right here, and uh, then you just spin that out. That's how you do that. Use a magnet, get the rest of that stuff out. If there's a washer, that goes underneath there. That looks like the lock. Lock mechanism for it. And I believe the clutch can come right off of here. Like that. And that's apparently the bad clutch. Not sure what went wrong in the clutch, but we've got the new one right here. We're just gonna replace that one with, so. We might tear into this later. This gear right here also came with the kit for the clutch, for the new clutch, so. We'll take that off and replace that as well. But we need to get the shaft out of here, right here for the kickstart mechanism. If you guys remember last video, that was stripped out and uh, we had to weld it on, so I just cut that off quick. But we need to get the shaft out of there. In order to do that, we need to get this gear off. It looks like there's a little clip in there holding that on. It's kind of, looks like it was broken off or something. Clip's kind of hard to get off. A little bit tricky to get off. All right. So now we have to get the spring off, and that rod should pull through. That spring is probably pretty strong. Let's see here. I kind of get it off like that. So it feels like it's on there. Let's see. 
Oh, I'm wondering. You have to do a whole case split for this. Now that I'm looking at it. And just just pull out of there. But it's held on by something. I wonder if it's held on by this thing. Clip. So these can come off. <laughs> Looks like we're going to have to do a case split. Are you serious? Just to get that off of there. That really sucks. Didn't see that one coming. You'd think it would just slide right in there. Here's the new one right here. So that goes into there. Yeah, it looks like he pushed in from the other side. <laughs> oh man, does that suck. It's not even big enough to slide in there. I don't think. This just turned into a little bit bigger job. <laughs> Alright, so I was just about to take off the um, shifting mechanism right here. And this bolt right here, or this screw I should say, was super loose and look at that. So, that was already on its way out is crazy. So that needs to come off either way, but there's no way that would have shifted like that. And if it did, it would have been really sloppy. So that comes off like that. whole thing can come out, I think. <laughs> All right. So it looks like everything is off on this side. So once we get the engine out, we can actually just split the case and lift off this and in theory, let's just see what's in the screen right there. I just wanna see what's in there. Pretty clean. Shove that back in there for now. But now, let's get the engine out and we'll split these cases. All right, we've got the engine out over here on the table. So, in order to split this case, there are screws all the way around here we need to take out. And then I believe we can just take off the right side case from the left side. Because everything is removed on this side. All right, so this tool definitely saved me um, to get those bolts out. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to get them. No way, they would have been stripped out for sure. All right, what we're gonna try to do is get the right side case off the left. Usually you do the left off the right, but um, in this case, I think it'll pop off. What happens? It's splitting. Anything getting hung up here? Over on this side, it looks like something is.
All right, just pounding that shaft through. It looks like we're almost there here. This comes off the rest of the way here. That sucker off. All right. Awesome. Get that out of here. That's the one that we're replacing. As you can see, it was held on right there. All right, check this out. I got the gear switched over from the old shaft to the new shaft. That's how that works. And this piece actually goes. You can kind of see in there, there's a little groove that sits in there. You can see it kind of go in and out like that. And then another thing to note is right here, that gear, that controls the oil pump. So this, this groove right here has to line up with the oil pump in order to spin the oil pump and make that work. So. Gotta make sure we've got that correct as well. But we're gonna get a new gasket on here and then put these cases back together. All right, got the covers all cleaned up. We're gonna use some silicone around here. And we've got the gasket as well. This is just for extra precaution, just in case there's a blemish in the case that we can't see. This will take care of that. We don't want it leaking from the case. Let's see which way does this thing go? Mm, goes like this. See if this goes on smoothly here. This is gonna go on this way. Make sure we have everything in there. Double pins are in. Everything's good to go. All right, let's see what happens here. Cases are back together. All right, we got the new clutch installed. Everything's smooth. We got the engine cases back together. Everything's looking good. Kickstart mechanism um, is put back together. We're going to now test out the kickstart. Make sure that works. All right, let's see. like it's working to me. All right, so we got the clutch mechanisms on here. So the rod goes right there. This piece with the spring 
goes back onto here. And the cover goes on over that, which is kind of tricky to do. We got the cover all cleaned out here. We're just gonna place that over that. And this thing is going to butt up with that one right there. We're just gonna use grease on it. So we're gonna grease this gasket up and put that on there. That way if we have to take it off again, it's easy to take off. All right, time to rebuild the top end. You can see that the piston from the original one, all the rings were broken on it. You can see they're all stuck to the piston. I tried to get them off and the rings just broke. So we ended up getting a new piston for it right here. OEM. Looking pretty good. And then some rings right here. We're just going to measure the ring gap. We also have to hone out the cylinder. So we can do that as well. So these are just the standard rings right here. Let's do it at the top here. See, that's a ring gap right there. Pretty small. That looks like it's going to be probably, I'm guessing, ten thousandths. Just plenty big enough for, yeah, about ten thousandths. Plenty big enough for um, this bike here. Same with this one. This one's probably going to be 10. Yep, right around, right around 10 thousandths for that one as well. So we're using this really, really small hone here. For very small diameter cylinders. We can go in and out with it. Make sure we go all the way to the top here. All right, let's try to get the cylinder on next. So it goes on this way, cam chain goes through here. All right, head is going on next. Again, cam chain through here.
Hope the torque specs for those, but uh, it's coming along. All right, the engine is done. We've got the valves to spec. Torqued it down. Everything is good to go. Does shift. All right, let's install this back into the bike. All right, we got the engine in the bike. We've got brand new carburetor, air filter, and then throttle cable. As you guys know, the throttle cable on this was broken. So we replaced it with the aftermarket one. So let's get the gas tank on there, the pipe on there, and see if she fires up before going any further. But uh, we've got to get the headlight bucket switched out. We've got to get the tail light on. Lots of stuff yet to do before taking the first ride, but it feels like it's got good compression. So she should fire. We will see. Oh, we also have to get some oil in it. All right, this thing takes 0.8 liters. Let's add the oil. We shouldn't have any leaking whatsoever. This thing's nice and tight. change done. All right, we've got the gas on, brand new carburetor. We'll put the choke on for the first start and uh, hopefully it, it'll fire up. We do have spark. I confirmed I had spark. So we should be good to go. Let's see what happens. carburetor but if she but she fired right up awesome it's just uh, smoking all the oil off of it Idling now. Sounds pretty good. Next, we're gonna get the tail light on. You can see the two wires, brown and green, go into this one. Pretty self-explanatory. It's a brand new OEM one, so it just bolts right to there. And uh, we'll test that out and see if that lights up. 
pick that out. Quite enough. Cool. Alright, the headlight bucket's all damaged, so let's get that changed out next. Uh, transfer over the rubber piece. Right in here. We'll get that transferred over and then that bolted up. Alright, headlight is installed. That's working out pretty good. Alright, this thing's almost done. All right, so this thing is pretty much done. I think we're all set to take it for the first ride. See how she goes. So one thing I do recommend is I would recommend not stripping out that right there because that is a pain to change out. I don't know why Honda would make that design where you have to take apart the whole engine in order to get that kick shaft replaced because I mean it's pretty likely that you're gonna strip those splines out so that's one thing I don't like about this bike but other than that it's a pretty simple bike and they seem to run forever and they're pretty cool looking but yeah let's take it for the first ride see how it goes It's putters along, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Try kicking it over. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> That's the break. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Where? Yeah, right there. And what do I do? Kick down, push down. Well, I'm in like... Yeah, yeah I you're know. You're setting me up for failure here, kinda. See how it goes oh. down like that? It's really easy once you get it. 
I can't do it with these shoes on. I'm telling you, this is just, <laughs> just no one's gonna be entertained by this. <laughs> oh, I'm entertained right now. <laughs> just kicked down. I can't do it. I, I mean, kids. What? Oh, there you go. Crap. <laughs> oh boy. Jill. This is pointless. I can't do it. This is going on YouTube, Jade. Great. Come on, you're making me look I know, bad. but I can't do it in these shoes. People are going to think you're a jerk for making me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to look bad. What am I supposed here, to I'll, do? here, take it. I'll start it. Uh, and it's hot. <laughs> the bike is? Yeah. Well, you're in tennis shoes, so that's why I'm just now kick that down right here. I Hold on. No, I don't want to do this, Joe. No. Okay, now go a little bit. How? Twist the throttle with your hand right here. Back. Just a little bit. Oh. Not that much. I know, but Ready? I don't know how to... No, I'm not. No! Good God. No, I don't want to do that. I don't have balance for that. You've been married to me. You know I don't have balance for that. No, thank you, Joe. <laughs> Oh, right man. The puke. You can't even ride. I did so. <laughs> I did so. Thanks Jade. for that embarrassment. <laughs> it's just a little bike, Jade. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what to think. I don't even know what to think. Yeah, I know. I don't. Let's see. Sit on it once, you Well, I sat on it. I think this is for like two year olds and stuff. <laughs> the bike beat Jade today. Yeah, the bike would beat me every day. <laughs> you can just leave it there. That's fine. You don't even want to ride it a foot? Wow. It's scary and I'm in my work clothes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> bike one, Jade zero. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to like film my whole walk up the driveway with love defeat. She's defeated everyone. Yeah. <laughs> uh. This I is what defeat looks like. I a gesture <laughs> waiting for you when you're not filming, Joe. <laughs> Go get Georgie once. People like the dogs, I think, better than me in the videos. So. I don't doubt it. <laughs> And Ben is out in the cage because he was being naughty. There he is, right there. Vinny. Here's George, everyone. Georgie boy. Hi, oh. <laughs> ah, George. Good boy. George. Vinny's getting jealous. Vinny with his deer antler out there. Yeah. George, he loves his mama. He's a good boy. So is Vin Vin. Vinny's a good boy. Watch him walk. Let's see what he does. He bounces around. Come on, George. Where are you going? <laughs> He's blind. <so. laughs> Come on. Oh, the good boy can walk. Yo, good walk. George, Georgie. <laughs> oh man, he's a funny dog. Oh, yeah, he's something else. We're jumping out. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone wants to see Vinny too. Well, Vinny's the star. Let's see, Vin. He knows the camera's on. Okay, run around. The 
two dudes. Does Georgie like Vinny yet? Does not appear so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, he's, he's taking off again. Oh. You should see George's face when Vinny comes around. Vin, Vin. Vin likes to run away. I think he's going to the bathroom. There he comes. He's probably looking for a dead mouse again. What's he got in his mouth? He's got something in his mouth. Dead mouse or a rat poison or... He's eating something. What the heck is that? George. Oh. Vinny. It's a tennis ball. It's like, oh, that's a new trailer. <laughs> Alright, so overall this thing ran pretty good. Um, I noticed some oil leaking out of the stator right here. So I think that O-ring seal in there is uh, still shot. I used one that I had laying around and um, it wasn't the, the correct one. The guy, he asked me if I had one laying around and I said possibly, so I, I thought I'd try it out and give it a shot, but I'll have to order up a new one. The new one's on its way, so we shouldn't have a problem there. But otherwise, it's running pretty good. If it can make it up a hill like that with me on it, that's not too shab. Going on the road, goes pretty fast. I believe this one's a three speed and it uh, definitely gets up to speed. So this one is pretty much done. Just a couple more pieces to put on, and uh, this one will be finished up. So anyway guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, stay tuned for the next one, and until next time, we are out. Oh.